Okay. Uh, good morning to one and all present here. You all can see me. You can wave your hands. Good. Is it voice audible? Is it audible? You do this fine. Okay. Uh, uh, welcome to the third episode of uh, Act uh, Knowledge uh, uh, series. And uh, today's session is all about on reach out success. Okay. And uh, before we start, I request you to have your uh, book and uh, pen to write because I'll give you some activity. I want you to do that. You have your pen and uh, or pencil or book ready? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I'm happy to see Lalita ma'am, Chaya ma'am, and a lot of, uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I could see some other, uh, Naveen sir, I could see. Okay, good. Good, good. And I could see a lot of young uh, students. I'm sure uh, some of them will be from, uh, um, uh, I think, uh, which school is that? Young Scholar Schools, I think. Uh, Shubhadama was telling that, you know, a lot of students will be coming. So, yeah, here we go. And uh, let me start off. Okay. Shall we start? Okay, fine. Here we go. Okay, on the screen, uh, you see the word uh, reach out success and uh, you see a mountain there. Okay. Uh, I generally ask people that, you know, uh, why can you tell me why did I put this uh, image of uh, mountain and all? Uh, the people give a lot of reasons, but the reason which I put is uh, it's man's natural desire to each high. It's a natural desire to be successful, to be to do something beyond, uh, you know, uh, its potential, just to realize its potential. Okay. One example I would like to give is that, you know, I'm sure you'd have seen uh, mountains or, you know, you were a big hill. On the top, you can see a temple being constructed there. You have seen that near Tumko, there's one uh, mountain. If you climb that, uh, on the top, you see a small temple there. I always wondered, like, you know, how can, you know, on those times, people have climbed that mountain to, uh, or climbed that hill to, you know, build a, uh, a temple there. So I thought the best is that put this, uh, use this image, the top success. And, uh, okay. I have two things in, uh, uh, on the screen. I'm sure you'd have seen how things have changed recently. We never used to use technology much, but I see nowadays every, you know, one having technology, paying money through online. Okay, a lot of uh, things have changed. Uh, one thing that uh, that triggered me was before this corona effect, I just read it in a, uh, some newspaper that, you know, human have the mission to go to Mars. Okay, human wanted to, you know, conquer Mars. One side you want to conquer Mars, a mass planet and you have other thing now human free from coronavirus so just here one side you have you know big vision you know i have to conquer such a big thing and you have the other side the smallest you know a microorganism which can threaten human life uh, human life now out of these two things which is success for us now i'm sure everyone would agree that you know human free from coronavirus is a success the question is how see how the success word changes now just before the corona man wanted to do many things but now you know conquering that uh, uh, on corona virus is a success now how things have changed okay so one realization that happened is that you know when you talk about success at every phase of life you know the success varies for people to people okay now today's session is all about on understanding what is the success and what defines the success Okay. Now, I just wanted to share this picture with you. Look at this picture. It says, I was just walking around and found myself on the top of Mount Everest. Look at this picture once again. You see a man just walking. He's on the Mount Everest. Look at his, the way, the costume that he's wearing. He's wearing his suit, tie, shoes and all. Is it possible? It's not possible, right? You know better. You know better. The only way to get on to the top is to have a goal in your life. 
it means that you know uh, it doesn't happen in life that you know i was doing something and suddenly i'm successful in life no it doesn't happen like that it doesn't happen you have to constantly work for it okay now remember success is not a chance success is not luck a lot of people say i, I, I was lucky no you would have worked hard for it luck comes for people who work hard it doesn't come suddenly okay so this is one but it is an organized effort okay now what is success what is success let's define what is success ignore it you have certain words coming on the screen is wealth success well in the sense making money making huge amount of money millions and millions of rupees if you have in your account you are very successful okay the uh, lot of people feel that you know making wealth you know is, is success there is a question that i would like to ask everyone who is the most wealthiest person or who is the most richest person on 2020 anyone You can raise your hands and you can either post it or something like that. Anyone? Who is the richest person? I did some survey, okay, and I'll share you one image. Okay, is he is none other than Jeff uh, Bezos? Bezos, I think. He is from uh, uh, the Amazon Prime. I heard that you know he is the, uh, the from the Fro. Max and I heard that you know he is the uh, uh, most richest person. But recently, when I was just surfing, uh, uh, just day before yesterday, again it said that you know uh, the uh, the Bill Gates took over him and all these things. My question now is 2000. Uh, now 20, where I'm asking you the question: Who is the most richest person? Right? Can anyone tell me who is the most richest person? Just we'll go five years back. Okay. Maybe around 2012, 12. Who's the most richest person? Pravin sir, can you unmute? Anyone would like to unmute and say who is the richest person? One richest man. Huh? I'm not asking so many. One, the most richest person. Only one is there. 2012. If you know, you can raise your hand. If you don't know, leave it. Good. 2012. Nobody. I couldn't see anyone. Okay. I'll go a little further. 2010. No, two thousand nine, two thousand eight, two thousand five. Don't worry, even I don't know. Even I don't know who is the most richest person. Now, just see here. When you ask anybody, like who is the most richest person, you say, "Who cares, man? Who cares? I don't know." Because the most wealthiest person also, you know, uh, you know, changes over a period of time. Now, if you see. so wealth does not define success remember that okay making money is not success it's not success why because success is not that you know you suddenly get it and next moment you are not there no that's not success success is something which is there or you should you retain it over a period of time so it means that success is long term okay it's like a, a, a big marathon race it is not 100 meters race so when when i'm telling you that wealth is not success then we we'll see other thing okay wealth is not success if you see is power success i am an is officer i am the president okay i am the uh, uh, you know prime minister in a big position okay uh, is that success okay i'll give a small task now if you see um again i go back when i said wealth is not success i'm sure everyone will when i say who is the most uh, richest person nobody will miss uh, bill gates nobody will miss bill gates why is that so okay other richest person we would have forgotten but why uh, bill gates okay now let's come to power okay now the task is i'll give you one minute time okay what you need to do is um i want you to list the president of india all president of india india has seen the number i have written now 15 president of india 
today, uh, the present one is the 15th one. Okay. What I want you to do is have your pen and pencil. Write down all the names of president. Right from the first till now. I'll give you one minute time. Okay. Very well. Google Mari check Mari Okay. Very well. Eight Tagadash Burkhard. One minute Kortina. I'll give you one minute time. Write all the president of India. I am not talking, talking about any other country, our own country. Only one president at one point of time. Remember that. Okay? But I not an for I could see someone, uh, some, uh, some of your friends are writing. Some are writing, busy writing. I could see that some are thinking. Some are blinking. I could see people taking additional sheets and writing. Some of you having confusion whether it was it the president or the prime minister. Some of you are like, forget it, write it, let's see. 30 seconds over. Okay, fine. I think I'll stop now. Don't worry. Uh, if you have forgotten the name, uh, you, you know, don't, you can't do anything. Just forgotten the name. That's it. Don't worry about that. I'll share the names. Just see here. Can you see the uh, names on the screen? Okay. Ignore me. How many of you have, uh, uh, see whether if you have written all the names. I don't want the names in an order, but at least write it. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, I'm sure people would not have forgotten Abdul Kalam. Everyone would have written that. Why is that so? For us to think over. Okay. Now, if you see right from Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Sarvapali Radhakrishnan, uh, Zakir Hussain, uh, V.V. Giri, a lot of people forget V.V. Giri, and uh, Farooq Din uh, Ali Ahmed, uh, Jetty, or Neelam Sanjeev Reddy, Jani Jail Singh, uh, uh, R. Venkatraman, Shankar Daya Sharma, K. R. Narayan, Kala, uh, Kalam, Pratibha Patil, Pranam Mukherjee and Ramnath Kovi. I want you to just think over this. If you see out of 15 people, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15 people, if you have written 5 of them, what happened to the remaining 10? If you have written 2 or 3, what happened to the remaining 12? Right? Now the question is, what happened to these people? You have just forgot it. You have forgotten about these people. Right? So, the message here is, the power also doesn't remain for a long time. Okay? So, wealth doesn't remain for a long time. Power also does not remain for a long time. Okay? Now, even first here, when I say wealth, you will never forget Bill Gates. When I said power, I told that you will never forget Kalam. Why is that so? Why are these people so exceptional? Okay. So, wealth does not guarantee success. Right? Power does not guarantee success. You move net no no. Does physical strength get, uh, uh, get success? Right? Physical strength is in strong, you know, uh, body, uh, biceps, triceps, you know, all, uh, you know, six packs and all. The physical strength also fades over a period of time. So wealth fades, power fades, physical strength also fades over a period of time. I'll show you one small example. Can you identify this person? Can you identify this person? Okay. If someone has prompted the word, you know, Muhammad Ali, they are right. Okay. He is none other than Muhammad Ali. He was the same man, right? I'll show you his track records. Just see his. Uh, uh, track records. He is the man who was the you know the uh, the, uh, uh, the champion uh, of boxing. He's the one who said that you know I can conquer this world with my power. I can you know knock anyone down. And so physical strength, you know, over a period of time, what happened was uh, he was suffering from a disease called Parkinson. In Gotirvek, when you uh, the disease in that you your hands legs will be shivering. 
okay if you want to have a cup of tea or coffee also someone should hold it keep it in the mouth and make you drink the same man who told that i can conquer this world through my power okay so physical strength can also fade over a period of time good wealth does not guarantee success does not guarantee success power does not guarantee success physical strength also does not guarantee success and the last one we have come is the fame ಎತ್ರ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಟಿಕ್ ಟಾಕ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಮಾಡೋದು ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಮಾಡೋದು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ವೈರಲ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸೂಪರ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಹೆಸರು ಬಂತು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಫೇಮ್ ಡಸ್ ದಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನಾವು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಏನೋ ಹಿಂದಿ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ don't tell me sharukh khan and all because all they have gone okay now just ask yourself by 2020 who is the top one okay now i just go back 5 years before right who was the top hero to uh, 12 2012 or 2000 we don't remember okay so all the sharukh khans all these things what you see now after 10 years someone ask you who is the most popular one people will say i don't know i don't know okay so fame also does not guarantee success okay you know in nalaku guarantee madala okay so you see the wealth does not guarantee success power does not guarantee success physical strength also does not guarantee success the fame also does not guarantee success so what guarantees success okay i'll share one case study with you okay just see this is a small case study with you and i'm going to go through it now idana a boy had a very ordinary academic career in the school sir go dilla you know kashta pat go down he developed bad company and smoked okay okay he ate non veg food which was not supposed to eat in the family but he ate it okay you know kashta patan lawyer ada okay he became a lawyer but could not argue a case why because he was nervous what he did was he gave the case to his friend and went out to, went out of the court he was so nervous that he could not read an affidavit in public okay he was thrown out of his place many times madiva agitto he had children but he didn't have a job is this life of success or failure right when i sh- show this a lot of people tell that you know it is a life of uh, failure only and uh, see so many things but he had married he didn't have a job he didn't know what to do is a life of failure only. but when i show the picture he is none other than our mahatma gandhi ji okay now tell me is this life of success or failure i'm sure where everyone would agree agree that it's a life of success only okay i'll give another uh, thing another case study i'll give so just see this a girl had a polio attack when she was 6 years old okay she could not stand and uh, both her legs were fixed with caliper on the hard i am not talking about today's caliper today's caliper is very light I'm talking about the earlier days caliper which was metal one it was very heavy doctors declared that she would never be able to walk in mel nadia kagala bit bit and her friends would sympathize with her and this sympathy would hurt her more and every every time anyone looks her leg her heart would sink she would sit in the bed all day and feel that her life the failure okay is this life of success or failure right when you ask this question now people are very you know uh, smart they would have seen that earlier gandhi uh, image been shown and sometimes people tell me sir she is just 6 years old how can you predict her future now okay now if i, I tell you who is she any guess would like to do you can put it in the chat if there is any yes you like to do okay fine i'll share it with you she is none other than 
Wilma Rudolph and the Kelly Hesser were tied in it. Children can you can make a note of these names because you might tend to forget these names. Okay, her name is Wilma Rudolph and the W I L M A R U D O L P H. Okay, you know, you Google it, you know, just you know, what's going on. She was an athlete. I tell you the story behind it. She was uh, at the age of six, she couldn't walk. And when father and mother both used to go to work, and uh, what she used to do is just visualize uh, uh, a railing, uh, sorry, a window. Next to the window, there was a bed, and window had railings. Uh, you can see it uh, right behind uh, my screen there. Now you had railings, and uh, whole day she used to be lying down. She take a sleep, but in case someone comes out there. But her desire was she wanted to walk. She wanted to walk. and what she used to do is when father and mother both are not there she used to roll down from the bed and try holding that a, uh, railings and stand she did like this for months together all she used to do is remove her caliper roll down from the bed hold the railing and stand one fine day she called up her father and said father do you know i can stand father said uh, stand you can't stand child so what she did was she just removed her caliper father said don't do that you'll fall She said, "No, father. Just look at me." She said, "She just removed the caliper, rolled down from the bed. She held the railings, and she could get up." And the father was surprised that my girl can stand. Okay, and and she said to her father, "Father, I want to walk." And the father used to help her to walk every day. At the age of nine, she started walking. Remember that at the age of nine, you are far better than her. Right at the age of nine, she started walking. She was taken to the school, and uh, in, the, in the in the school, no, when the priest, the principal, asked, "What is that you want to do?" The girl said, "I want to run." And there was a sports teacher uh, attached to her, and uh, she used to do uh, do running every day. And at the age of twelve, she was in the school basketball team. And at the age of, at the age of sixteen, she took part in Olympics and bagged three gold medals. You know, if you know that, you know, you can see the first one, hundred uh, meters, two hundred meters, and the third one, you know, uh, there's something called hundred into four relay. She, you know, that if there are four of them, the first and last has to be very strong. You, know, you have to uh, run faster, so so that you can save time. Vilma was the last one. The first person passed the baton to second, second to third, and when third was about to pass the baton to the uh, uh, Fourth one, the baton almost slipped from her hand, and she just caught it. Just caught it and caught it and started running. She ran as if it's the last race in her life. She could get a gold medal for that, right? But if you see, in her entire lifetime, she has brought only three gold medals. That's the Jati Madila, and she died at the age of thirty-eight, thirty-nine only. Very short she lived. So it means that. Uh, to be successful it doesn't mean that you have to live for a long time is nanga artha agirodu short period also you can do magic and in this world and go off there are many great people who have done magic in a short duration of time in their life and they've gone okay so this is one why she become so specialist you know i'm sure some of you will go to us and study and uh, work there or come back whatever it is i'm sure you will go and visit this place After every president of America, you know, after taking the oath, need to go to her place where her statue is kept in running posture, and need to garland that statue. If we are India, the least active is the Lala Ira Thala. That is why all of them, all of them are there. But why? Throughout the life, she has got only three gold medals. There are many people who have got more than that. It's not for the three gold medal. It is for the mankind, the tenacity that she had towards life. At the age of six, she was nothing. You know, nadi kya aftar lila. But the age of sixteen, she was on the world top. Right? It is for that, you know, the, you know, it is the kind of tribute that you pay towards this person. Now, is this not 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 a life of success? Yes, it is life of success. Okay. So again, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how long you live. It doesn't matter. If you see Jesus, Vivekananda, they didn't live for a long time. They live for a short time, but they made a big difference to this world. Okay, now we go for the next slide. Another case study here. 
Okay, a boy born in a very poor family could not get education. Kashtai to manen tumba kashtai. He had he had to make living by selling flowers on roadside. Who marked that? Even to tumba jana note bolna. Who marked chick chick maklo? Who marked kind of tar? Okay, uh, and uh, from house to house manen manen wo who marod? He could not get a job. Finally, he joined army as a soldier. He gets a sick. And that too, soldier Ali was a driver. And the then door then illa. Okay. Uh, he felt that all his dream was crushed. He ne nu mana kagila bhi waste hai thun. Jeevan ne anta. And he was so stressed as he was returning to his home, Raja Sikto, mane ho na anta. Vapas bandro. He spent some time on Delhi railway station platform. Okay. He was mind. His mind was so stressed that he walked up and down. He decided to end his uh, life of failure by committing suicide. That was his uh, part in his mind. He was so stressed. He wanted to jump so that you know the train can hit him and he's no more. That was the. Uh, he was so stressed. And uh, mm, what I, I shared that person's name. And then I think you can relate to him very easily. He is none other than uh, Anna Hazare. You see that? Is Anna Azare? Okay. What changed him? What changed him is the uh, the question that. Uh, one second. Okay. So, uh, what changed him is the question. Uh, as he was walking up and down, he could uh, he had some coins in his pocket. He thought like, what to do with this? Let's uh, buy something. So on the you know railway station we can see people selling books and flowers and all. His eyes stuck on a book. He wanted to buy that book, right? So the name of the book is "Call to the Nation," written by Swami Vivekananda. "Call to the Nation," written by Swami Vivekananda. Even now this book is available. It's a small book, right? Small book. Okay. "Call to the Nation." Now uh, he says that you know after reading this book. that book inspired me to find a purpose in my life okay and he again went back to his uh, hometown and he started working with you know people uh, on a lot, lot of various social uh, issues he is none other than anna hazare and the question is then what is success what is needed to be successful in life Okay, now just see here. Three things that three qualities in us that will guarantee success. Model ne do human effort. Human effort. Okay. I call it as enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Okay. Now just see this. I'm sure you would have seen this kind of pictures many times. Wherein you can see a big rock, on that you find a small tree growing. Small tree growing, okay. and a similar kind of a picture I got it from the net, and I thought let me share it with you. Okay, can you see that the plant is growing, and it it has got a lot of water, but you know it doesn't have a lot of water for the uh, tree, and you have little soil and some moisture here and there, and it grows. Okay, if you see, I call this as enthusiasm. Okay, don't grub about your problems. If a blade of grass has such an enthusiasm, then what is our problem? Okay, remember one thing. Enthusiasm. How does this enthusiasm come? It comes from our faith. Enthusiasm borrow do faith in that. ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ನಾನು ಯಾವೊಂದು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸೈಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಸಚಿನ್ ತೆಂಡೂಲ್ಕರ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಐ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಲಾಫಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆರ್ ಬೂಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸರ್ ದೇ ಸ
see one is the food but what is the secret of his energy is the faith right faith to different types are there right now so i'll solve a burden with comedy see one is faith in yourself nimmel nimmu nambike idiya right now i want to get good marks i want to get a rank right do you believe that in that that you can get it faith in yourself nimmele ne nimmu nambike iddu hodre nothing can be done okay so first is faith in your self second faith is faith in the work that you do okay whatever you are doing you are you are you are reading for your physics you are reading chemistry you are reading do you believe in that or is simply mugging it up okay so the second faith is whatever work you do you do do you believe in that admele nambike idiya you believe in that profession itself okay second third one is faith that whatever work you do is good for you and good for your family okay family or i could see some others good for your institution and the home or good for your school good for your family and good for your school say for example you study well okay is it good for you yes is it good for the family yes is it good for your school yes the third faith is so first faith is faith in yourself yes i can do it second faith is faith in the work that you are uh, doing it ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವ್ದೊ ಒಂದು ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಕಳಿತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅದ್ ಯಾವ್ದೊ ಒಂದು ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಕಳಿತಾರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಏನೋ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದಾರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಹಂಗೆ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೊಡೋಣ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಫೇತ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇದು ಬಹಳ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಓಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಜನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಗಾಡ್ ತಂದ್ರಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ uh ig nodi iga corona situation agide every find you every place you find barricade what if this barricade is not there what if police people are not there you think people will be at home and of them will be at home they'll say it's okay let's go and explore if you see the signal also when the when the police person is there we stop our vehicle okay and when the when the police person is not there okay he will they may just skip around and uh, go away now if you see uh uh something uh, uh, beyond you i call it as god okay namkinda dodda okay you are not devar anta karibodu athwa yena power anta karibodu athwa some kind of luck anta karibodu okay so i call this as faith in god ee nalaku faith irbeku faith in self faith in the work that you do faith that whatever work you do is good for you your school your family and the third one is a uh, fourth one is faith in god ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಫೇತ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ಬರಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬರೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೇತ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಫುಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ವಿತ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ full joy happy okay a enthusiasm energy in mind idre that's the first indicator that will, you can be successful now they kelsa maadi 100% involved maadi i call this as enthusiasm second is effort enthusiasm is there but effort illa okay it's like you know one effort one example best example kodbekadre imagine i give you a tissue paper okay tissue paper kodtini and i'll give you a lens powerful lens kodtini hand lens and lens for thinning and i tell you to burn this paper can you burn it and so how do i can burn it but actually it all depends on you okay now say for example i take you to the hottest place hottest time on the clock okay and i'll give you the softest tissue paper and i give you the most powerful lens you can burn it only depends on how focused you are imagine you keep the tissue paper like this and you keep on moving the hand like this right you cannot burn the paper like this in spite of good conditions okay now remember when you keep it like this focused you can burn the paper i call that focus is your effort kashta padbeku yavudu sumne baralla i tell you thumba students idire illi you are sitting here sitting comfortably remember someone is working behind for you someone is paying your school fee someone is you know working hard to buy a good shirt for you or pant for you or whatever dress for you okay they are working you are eating good food 
because someone else is, you know, uh, are, you know, sacrificing theirs. I call them as parents. Okay. And remember, parents are the only people who can't think bad for you. I want to share this image with you. Image tumma kare nodir bodu ni. Okay. And I want you to observe this image very carefully. You can see this this image is called hands in prayer anta helta. You can Google man nodi sigarta ni hands in prayer anta. Okay. Uh, in fact, some of the missionaries are also they have this uh, image as their uh, logo for right there. And if you see, observe this image carefully. This is not the hand of a most beautiful woman. You can see this hand. The shirts. Observe man nodi. The hands are not. The hands are you know, uh, you know crumpled. And you can see that you know it is not straight also. And it's not straight. Okay, and the shirt is also not a good one. Okay, I tell you what is the story behind this hand. Tumba kade nodel bodo, and lot of people don't know this whose hand is this hand. But this is called hands in prayer. Now there's a person here. Okay, nodi. He is called Albert Durer. Hand. Durer. D R U R E R. Durer. Albert Durer. Hand. He was uh, actually he is a German uh, artist. Albert Durer and his brother belong to almost uh, 15 children. Only Europe, Europe group. Okay, and uh, they both were interested. Albert and uh, Durer. Albert and Durer. Albert was the elder brother, and he is a Durer. And uh, they both were interested in uh, painting, but uh, they they couldn't. The family couldn't afford them to send them to a school. There was a school in Berlin, Berlin, Germany. called berlin school of art and very famous even now it is famous if you go to you know germany you should see this place and berlin school of art and so all the admission agbeku anta but parents said sorry uh, we can't uh, afford to do that you do some work here and there and uh, they felt they felt bad and they decided to leave the home ibru anna samu mane bit hogana okay they left the home and went to uh, berlin to see you know how can they get enrolled they cross check all the admission details and things like that and they found that you know they don't have so much money to take up the course then they had a plan the plan was one will go to work there's a construction site so one can go to work and one can go to school so after that when the course is completed this person will go and work and that person will go and learn the art then how to decide so they flipped a coin and they wanted to toss the toss and elder brother had to go to work and this younger durer was supposed to go to uh, the uh, berlin school of art and the, and the durer was a very smart student and he started making money when he was a student itself and uh, his course was done he was most uh, one of the most famous painter and the course was done and he approached his brother brother no i have completed the course you need not i need not go to the construction place and work it's uh, i can you know uh, take care of your fee with my drawing it's a plan you go to work what the elder brother said was something interesting he showed both his hands and said see my dear brother i can't hold the pen or i can't hold the brush now because my hand my my fingers are broken because of you know the uh, hitting the uh, stones so i don't think i'll be able to hold a brush and go to school and things like that and he felt durer felt so bad that you know his brother he felt you know uh, that you know his brother sacrificed his life for for him to grow up in life and uh, with that he drew this so it is albert durer's drawing of his elder brother albert okay and he says that this is the most a uh, beautiful hand that i've ever seen the one who nurtured me kind of thing and he drew this thing so everything comes with effort children that's what i want to sh- uh, share here okay nothing come nothing comes free of cost right okay? this is what it is and you are happy here remember the parents are struggling okay they are struggling hard to keep you happy right this is one yeah and the last one we'll see i'll go back to the same and social commitment 
this is a small exercise I tried, okay, and uh, this is done by my chairman Guraj Karanthi sir. He always like to do this experiment. I also thought let me do this with you. Okay, I have around 70, 70 people here. Uh, I want you to uh, write the name of your grandfather, name of your grandfather, his father, and uh, your great grandfather means your father's grandfather. Are you sure about the birth date? No, da. I'll give you 30 seconds time. In Tanday se bariyengi la. In Tata ne se bariyengi ko aur Tanday sro. In Tanday Tata sro. Don't prompt. All the parents were sitting there. Don't prompt them. <laughs> and see if you can write. Uh, okay, if you can, I could see. I am writing there. I can do that. See if you can write the next generation also. Great grandfather. Bariyengi no na. Okay, leave it, leave it. Is there anyone who has written uh, first, uh, like you know, your father, uh, grandfather? So we'll call it as one, two, three, three names at least, three, four names. Who has written? Can you unmute Chaya, ma'am? Pravin sir, can you unmute Chaya? Unmute Chaya. Ma'am. There we go. Ah, yeah, can you read yeah. us? Ah. Yeah, paternal and maternal, both sides have written. Sir. Oh, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> Let's listen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, my uh, maternal side is Chintaman Rao uh, and Ranga Rao okay. and That's Chirmal Rao. Oh. Yes, yes. My grandfather is Chintaman Rao. Uh, his father is Ranga Rao uh, and his father is Chirmal Rao. Yeah, very good, very good, very good, very nice. <laughs> paternal side. Uh, paternal is Srinivas Rao, my uh, grandfather. Okay. His father was Seshigiri Rao. Okay. His father was Gundapa. Oh, okay, very good, very good. And uh, uh, after that? After that, see why these names, I could remember it very easily is they have been, these names have been given to their children. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay this is the funda, like you know, my cousin's name is so and so. So that's. Uh, so you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so. okay. <laughs> I'll share certain, uh, you know, images. See if you can recognize them. Okay. Can you see these people? Can you recognize them? Can you recognize this please? Can any student share? Uh, can you identify this? Anyone who wants to raise the hand and one second. See three hands raised. Very good. Anyone? Four. Four. Okay. Okay, can anyone read it out for me? Can you just identify this name? Anyone? You are muted. Who has muted? Yes, sir. It's Mother Teresa. Ah, okay. Uh, then Vivekanand, Swami Vivekanand. Yes. And Albert Einstein. Yes. Then uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Perfect. Uh, then it's uh, Sarvapalli Radha Krishna. Beautiful, huh? And then next is little confusion. It is C.V. Raman, it seems. Yes, correct. Correct. Uh, then Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna. Uh, then it's uh, uh, the Mahavir. Buddha. Buddha. One is Mahavir Buddha. and one is Buddha. Yes, yes. Uh, next is uh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, then after that, Ramakrishna Parmosh. Uh, Paramahamsa. Paramahamsa. Uh, and then Mahatma uh, Gandhi. Uh, super. Very nice. Very nice. Now just see here. Uh, uh, all these people, we, we don't remember our great grandfather, but we remember these people. Right? I want you to think. We don't, including me, I don't remember you know my great great grandfather, but I know all these people. Why? They were not my great great uh, grandfather anyway, related. But why is that I'm able to remember this? The, the answer for this is I call the social commitment. Your success is measured ultimately by what? You have done to this society. Okay. This is one. Your success is measured ultimately by what you have done to the society. And it says anyone who lives for himself should not be remembered by the world. And anyone who lives for others shall not be forgotten. Right. Uh, the word itself is very uh, highly motivating. 
ತಮ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಯಾರು ಬದುಕ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾಜ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಲೀವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ನನಗೆ ಒಂದು ಹಿಂಗೆ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ನನ್ಗೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಮಾಡೋದಪ್ಪ ದುಡ್ಡು ಮಾಡೋದಪ್ಪ ದುಡ್ಡು ದುಡ್ಡು ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೆಂಗ್ ಸತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಬೈ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮನಿ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅರ್ನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ಆಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಛಾಯಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಐ ಗೇವ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಒಂದು ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಡೇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡೂ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇವ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋರ್ ಯು ಸಿ people saving more than what is required right same thing happens in our life also right if uh, if if the government says you know don't worry about water you will get 24 hours uh, water supply people do not think of saving uh, water okay now if here the message here is that you know uh, when you uh, when there is insecurity okay people want to save as much as possible okay is like this all the heroes that you see in now one movie if they fail one movie they fail you you don't see them on the screen that's the reason they become very expensive any cricketer one or two uh, plays uh, games if they get hurt nobody will call them okay that's how it is fine so uh, one thing i want to share is that you know always look for good speak good and hope for always good i want to share another instance one lady asked me she said sir nan prapancha eno anta helidre nan makle my children are my uh, you know my for everything i can do anything for them okay and uh, i worked hard for them now they are working somewhere and uh, i'm happy is this a, not a life of success and the professional care okay i've done this that's it i'm happy with it okay uh i just asked her that ma'am uh, we are in this building how many floor this building has sir she just looked and says i think uh, we are on the third floor there's one terrace so 3 plus 1 sir right she said i said if a building can have you know 3 plus 1 floor what about our life our life also has got different levels imagine you are in room number first floor room number 101 nothing wrong about it i'm not telling you to know everyone should go up no i'm not telling you that if you are in room number 1 first floor you are happy be happy no problem right but remember there are person who has gone to third floor or to the terrace you are a mother but you are not mother teresa right if mother teresa thought of going to the terrace it's like this okay so the last one is very interesting it says what should we do always look for good ಒಳ್ಳೇದನ್ನೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಗುಡ್ ಒಳ್ಳೇದೇ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಗುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ರಫೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಫಾಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ as if today is the last day in your life and work as if you would live for eternity you are a little uh, small children you are in 9th standard 10th standard i don't know whether you will be able to understand this bigger meaning in this i'm sure adults will understand this i always follow this in my life this statement has impacted me a, a lot uh, sir always says that you know speak to people as if you know you not be able to see them just one month before we couldn't think of one or two months before we couldn't think that you know corona will be there we can't talk to each other we can't even leave home we couldn't we couldn't think of it okay so speak to people as if you are speaking for last time or the last day in your life okay and but work as if you are going to live long okay this is what it is 
Keep this in mind. Somewhere, some part of your life, this statement will definitely hit you, and you will make a meaning out of it. Okay. Uh, that's all, children, and uh, may God bless you with uh, bless you, and may all be immensely successful. I'll stop it till here. I'll open the forum for any uh, questions and things like that. Oh, now I could see. I could see. I couldn't see all people. A lot of people have identified this. Any questions can be uh, asked. Also, I have got Chaya, ma'am. I've got Lalita, ma'am. We all together will answer you, kids. <laughs> yeah. Since uh, many children, children are watching, here, many children yes. are watching. So let them not lose hope. Let them not feel this is the end of the you know world and everything. This yes. is a very nice time for them to sit at home and then to nurture their uh, passion and to yes. find out to you know what they are good at. Uh, also, not to get upset. not to get irritated and um, to have a routine let them not break the routine you know yeah. just because it's a holiday they should not break the routine wake up late and then you know everything <laughs> goes for a toss so just be positive and everything is everything will be fine yeah. uh, just be yourself and be happy yeah thank you ma'am that's the principal also talking at the same time chaya ma'am can i can, can we listen to chaya ma'am please yeah um what i would uh, tell children here is uh, do some activity of your passion like how ma'am told the same thing but keep it in practice daily uh, look for zentangle kind of art and practice and uh, you know this is the best time all children can give their brain work left brain you know since yeah. most of the children are right handed so left brain you know they just give rest rest to their left brain <laughs> so start working with your left hand it will take lot of time i know but try to practice with the left hand writing one page a day i i really feel that one page will be uh, it will take lot of time but try to do that it it is really going to help them very nice very nice i could uh, see kavita ma'am there yes ma'am just <laughs> kavita ma'am can you unmute uh, ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hi, Vivekananda. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Yeah, I I was there throughout the session. It was really very good. Uh, I never expected Vivekananda can do so well. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. I'm sure children would have understood quite a lot about what is success. Uh, as of now, for me, success uh, for everybody, which I would like to pass on, is how you can sit at home. not losing hope for tomorrow yes. and how we can fight the corona along with that not losing the enthusiasm of reading and keeping your books alive that is what is uh, important good yes ma'am so yes. i can only say right from the student to the teachers also since teachers many are they doing online classes yes but they should not lose hope days will come we people we were we are not getting that chance to see how the world war would have happened and how people yeah. not uh, so we must think of those days which uh, really helped us uh, so i can only say children don't lose hope teachers don't lose hope things will change we'll all yeah. fight together and today's topic was really meaningful saying uh, reach out success so now the success is how we can overcome the present situation yes. Yes. that's yes. all all the best uh, teachers thank you thank you and vivekananda yes. great job thank you thank you Ma'am, I could see uh, 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 Shubhada, ma'am. Shubhada, yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, I could not join the session right from the beginning, but whatever I could understand, I just want to tell children that you know, uh, just earning the degree or doing some good job will not bring to their success. Actually, yeah. So there are a lot many things they have to do in their life. i just want them to focus on their life skills first education is not the end and there are lot many things which they can learn apart from the books whatever they are studying that is the only point i would like to tell them sir thank you thank you very much ma'am i could see navin sir but uh, uh, yeah there are five uh, hands raising up uh, yes ma'am meena i could see uh, meena vijaya anyone who like to ask questions yes yeah one and you then let me na mina no 
Sir? Uh, yes, ma'am, please. Sir, I am Tejasvini from grade 10 and I am studying further. Hmm. So, I have seen that um, our Vice Principal, Ms. Shibda, ma'am, <laughs> he is very happy all the time. Yeah. He is our Vice Principal. Yes. How does that not make her successful? Uh, uh, how does that not? Uh, like, is she successful or is she not? She is successful. Uh, she, I, I, because I know uh, Shubhada Man for quite some time, so I think on behalf of her I can speak. Uh, I always see her happy, cheerful, enthusiastic. First thing is right. Three things. Enthusiasm, hard work and commitment. Right? So I would see, first thing is that, you know, I always see her enthusiastic. Any work given, she does it so happily. I've never seen her sitting and crying. And I've also seen her you know, many times, you know, when you, you go back 3, 4 o'clock, but 5, 6 o'clock, she, she'll be working. Late night, she'll be working. Okay. Hard work is also there. And she's committed for the growth of the school. She wants you to be successful in life. That is her success. She may not become, you know, great leader, but she will be, she'll be in your good books throughout your life. Am I right? That's success for her. Uh, Shubhada ma'am, uh, yeah, I don't know whether I've spoke right about you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So anything, anyone else? So it is a life of success. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, now it's 12. Thank you very much for being part of this program. Next we have on, uh, I think Wednesday we have a session for pre-primary teachers. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, sir, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.